Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be installing this Samsung 860 Evo MSATA SSD in this Intel NUC. And this Intel NUC, uh, if you've been with my channel a while, I did a series of videos on this, the Ultimate Intel NUC. So that was from like 2015, I think, or 2014, I can't remember. It was a couple years ago. And I've been using this as a uh, Linux desktop for quite a while. But what I want to do is install Windows on it. And I'm going to install that on the mSATA drive. So the regular SATA drive will have Linux and this one will have Windows on it. So, and I know you can install both on the same drive. I just want them separated. So in order to do that, I'll open this up here. Okay. And here we have the regular Samsung SSD. So next I will carefully peel this back and you see the cables here are going around that side. So I want to peel it. I want to bend it that way slowly and carefully. You kind of have to pull up on it a little bit. Okay, so now I have it open. And the M set of drives is going to go here. And I'll put a link in the description to my playlist on this, and I'll put a link to this on my Amazon affiliate account. And if you like this video and you buy one of these through that account, it will help me out a little bit. It won't cost you anything extra. And here is the drive. So if you're looking at putting a drive in one of these, there are two different drives types that look similar to this. You have the mSATA and the PCI, uh, PCIe NVMe M.2 drives. And you want to make sure you look at the model you have of the NUC and then the model of hard drive and make sure they match up. So to put this in, I want to take this screw out. I like to ground myself to the case so I don't uh, create any static electricity in the circuit board. I have that screw out. There's a magnetized screwdriver here. And you see down here is the wireless uh, card. So I'll touch the case while I'm taking this out of the package. And here's this up close here. And here's the back side. If I can focus on it. Okay. So I'll stick this in. I'll slide it in here. Like that. And I like to wiggle it up and down just a little bit to make sure I have it seated all the way. And then I'll press it down and that will line up this screw hole here. So when I put it screw in like this so I don't cross it, I'll usually turn it backwards until I hear it click. And then I'll go forwards. That way I know I'm not cross-threading. And now the drive's in. And I have to be careful here when I put this back in. You kind of have to pull it out, pull it this way a little bit to get it over everything. There we go, it's back in. And then I'll put the case back on. Okay, so now the screws are back on, it's ready to go. So now I just need to install the system and I'll do that in an upcoming video. So if you like this video, please click like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.